Marmite, the British bread that people famously either love or hate, found itself in a sticky situation. An investigation had revealed a sickening truth. One in ten breads had not opened their jar in three months. Thousands of jars were being mistreated, left abandoned and forgotten in favor of other spreads. Something had to be done. A campaign was launched to save neglected jars all over Britain. First off, a Marmite rescue team was formed. Too many people are pushing their Marmite jars to the back of the cupboard where they can't be found and they can't be used. This to us is neglect. A 90 second television ad showed the team at work. What we're going to do is have a little look around your cupboards. Get him back, clean him up. I promise he will go to a, to a good home. I'm sorry. I don't know why you're here, to be honest with you. Oh, no. What's um, the matter? It's baby one. OK, don't panic. It's not been used in months. I really love this one. OK. Posters went up all over Britain, warning people what to look out for and a series of online videos highlighting the hard work of the rescue team was put on YouTube. They can be right at the back of a high, high cupboard, so you can reach up like that and just have a little look. A fleet of rehoming vehicles was dispatched to raise awareness with shoppers and to distribute Marmite care bags. Marmite's famous campaign strategy rang true with millions of people loving the campaign, but also a fair few hating it. In fact, there were over 500 complaints made, making it the most complained about ad of the year and prompting an ASA investigation. This controversy generated a huge amount of debate online, as well as making front page news, being covered by all the national press, including radio and television shows. And for the first time ever, a national outcry was branded. What do we think, then, of this new TV ad for a salty, yeast-based spread? Uh, does it make light of animal or even child abuse? Do you love it? Do you hate it? The public got involved, too, with people reporting cases of neglect themselves through the End Marmite Neglect microsite. And some even made their own versions of the ad. The campaign went on to generate over £2 million worth of free media, reached over 66 million people, and saw a sales increase of 15% in the two months following the launch. And finally, in response to the public's affection for the baby one, a special edition jar was turned around overnight. Surely no one could forget about one of these. So Marmite is back where it belongs, thanks to a campaign that some loved, some hated, but no one will forget.